Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jens back with another video for you, you guys. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And I know we've done a lot of tier lists on this channel before, but categorically, we had never done it just like this. We're actually going to be doing some video game character guys. So today we're going to be doing GTA main characters and Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 main characters. So basically Rockstar game, main protagonist, and antagonist, whatever you want to call them, are going to be ranked today. So if you guys like these kind of videos and you guys have any future suggestions, then comment down below what you guys want ranked. You know, it could be literally anything. As long as it's someone interested me and or have some sort of knowledge about it, I will make sure it happens. And give this video a like as well and a subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you guys know when videos just like this are coming up. Alright guys, let's get into that tier list. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed that one. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you disagree or agree, let me know what your list would look like. Of course, I'll leave a link down below in the description to this list if you guys want to go and try it out yourself. And if you guys would like to leave me any suggestions for more tier lists in the future or reactions or any kind of covers, then feel free to leave some suggestions down in the comment section down below as well. And guys, I upload every Sunday at 3 o'clock, and I also upload at every Wednesday at 3 o'clock as well, p.m., East Coast time. Of course, Wednesdays are Reaction Wednesdays, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, everybody, so we got this tier list here. We got a bunch of characters here. Got a bunch. I didn't count how many there are, but we got Goat, Great, Good, Okay, Bad, pretty straightforward. I think you guys can comprehend, and to start off the list. We have Mr. CJ, Carl Johnson, and I would say Carl Johnson um, is one of the best characters in any Rockstar game or the GTA series, just just in general. And you'll have to find out at the end of the video if he is the best character out of all these guys here. But I will put him in GOAT status. San Andreas was the first game I ever owned, actually. It wasn't even just the first Rockstar game I ever owned. It was just the first game in general that I owned. But I just think San Andreas is just, out of all of the GTA games, has the best storyline out of all of them. Carl coming from Liberty City down to Los Santos and just reuniting with his family and finding out there was a betrayal within his homies and has to go through all these freaking loops to find the big smoke and, uh, you know, Ryder, guys that portrayed him, and it's just a wild ride. Go play that game if you haven't. Of course, this is going to have spoil alerts throughout it, I must say as well. Forgot to mention that in the intro. But we're going to move on to Clyde from GTA 3, which was the fourth GTA, I believe, I played because I played GTA San Andreas, of course, first, and then I played 4, and then I played uh, GTA 5 was the next one I played. And then this next one, I went through the storyline. And I was not a big fan of the storyline. It was honestly my least favorite GTA. And that might have to do something with the fact that it's the first GTA. Maybe if it was only GTA out, maybe I would think it's the most badass thing in the world. I don't know. But I just didn't really like the storyline all that much. He didn't talk at all. Literally at all. There's no dialogue. I forget why. There's some reason he doesn't talk. But uh, yeah, he's just... Eh, he's, he's just a bad character in my opinion. Doesn't intrigue me whatsoever. He does make a cameo in San Andreas, which is, I think, kind of cool. And then we have Franklin Clinton. He is the first protagonist from GTA V. You, of course, start out with him. And the funny thing is, him and Michael have an encounter, this this fellow here, in the intro cutscene. It's kind of funny. Franklin, he was a good character. I, I enjoyed him. Well, overall, with Franklin, though, he was just kind of a character that was just kind of okay. Like, he got shit done, which I really liked about it. He had some swagger to him, but... I don't know. I mean, he was just kind of an uninspiring character overall. I think I put him in good because of the mansion and the dog Chop. You're like, go play with Chop sometime if you have not played with Chop. It's pretty fun. That's probably his redeeming qualities, and that's why he's not down here or here. Okay, we got John Marston next. He's the Red Dead 1 main protagonist. He becomes the main protagonist in Red Dead 2 because Red Dead 2 was a uh, prequel to Red Dead 1. So, it's kind of funny, and then he dies, and that gives me some really bad video game PTSD when 
he dies. It, it sucks when you go into Red Dead 2 and you see that barn. You're just like, I don't want to go anywhere near that barn. But John Marston is a badass character, that's for sure. I really enjoyed playing with him. Solid personality. I uh, really like how he connects with his son, Jack. He tries to, at least. He's a, such a tortured soul. And uh, Abigail, how they get back together in Red Dead 2. And he really does care, but he just comes from the Vandalin gang. And he only knows one way of life. And it's just really difficult for the man. He has one of the most unique voices, I think, out of any of these characters. One of the coolest voices. Just kind of a cool dude. I, I wouldn't say goat, but great is definitely appropriate for Mr. John March. We have Johnny. I think his name is Cribbles or Cribbly. Blah, 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 I don't know. Something like that. He's the main protagonist of GTA 4's Lost in the Dam, which is a DLC. And I have not played that at all. I'm trying to play more DLCs from GTA 4, but for some reason on my computer, GTA 4 and its DLCs just do not work at all. So I've never got to play with him as a main protagonist. But seeing him in GTA 5 and in GTA 4 as a less significant character. Like, I thought he was cool, but I never played as him, so I need to just put him in okay for now. And then, of course, we got the next DLC from GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony. We got Lewis. I forget his last name. Don't ask me. At the time of the recording of this video, I don't remember. And he has some cameo appearances, of course, in GTA 4, the main storyline. And I've played a little bit of the Lost in the... Not the Lost in the Dam. I played a little bit of the Battle of Gay Tony because of a friend. Played a maybe a handful of missions, and I was enjoying it at that time. And I, I guess he was a solid character, but I can't really judge, just like Johnny. So I'm going to put him in okay. And yeah, this is going to be kind of boring because I've never played any of the Liberty City stories. I don't even know this guy's name, this Italian mobster-looking dude. So same thing. Again, four in a row now where... We have a character I've never played as. Wait, City Story character. I think his name is Dom, I think. Tell me what, down below what his name is. I don't even remember, so he's going in okay. But these guys all have a chance to move up once I play as them. And we have Michael, who is the second main protagonist from GTA V. I honestly... Hmm, where do I put him? He, he's just kind of like an okay character, I guess. Like, I would just put him in okay. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really hate playing as him, but he didn't really have anything that really made me want to play as him as Michael again after the main story of GTA 5. So he's just going to go in K. And then we got Nico Bellic from GTA 4. He is the main protagonist of that game. I think it's really cool and inspiring how he comes from Europe and meets with his cousin Roman in Liberty City. And he has to go you know, through so many loops and bounds just to try to get his life started. And he just gets caught up with the wrong crowd and just can't seem to get out of it. He's really kind of like John, just kind of a tortured soul. You know, he seems like a great guy. And if he wouldn't fall a life of crime, maybe as much he would even find some stability. He'd just be like a good dude, like, you know, like for any lady, really. Because he's a charming guy and uh, he is one of the coolest, again, voices across GTA. And Rockstar Games has that Eastern European accent, which is really cool. And he's just a badass motherfucker with all that said. He's a... Ooh, where do we put him? He's definitely not any less than great. Do we put him in GOAT status? I think so. He's a GOAT. He's a GOAT. He's going up there. And then we got Mr. Trevor Phillips, who potentially is my favorite all-time Rockstar character. He's going to challenge this man right here so much. And this guy. I like him more than Nico Bellic. I can tell you that right now. So, yeah, he's got to go and GOAT. There's no other explanation. We're actually going to put him in second place there. Yeah, but Trevor Phillips, he was just kind of a crazy, crazy dude. He was de He's definitely not a dude I'd want to hang out with. Not at all. He's a gaslighter. Look what he does to Ron, who's supposed to be his friend. But as a GTA character, of course, they're, none of them are normal. So, we're making these guys, like, just how... I guess, inspiring they can be, I guess you could say, or how funny they can be, and he is probably the funniest character on this list, for sure. He has definitely influenced my vocabulary a little bit, and yeah, I catch myself saying some of the shit he says sometimes, so he's gonna go into GOAT status. And then we have Mr. Arthur Morgan, the main protagonist of Red Dead 2. He's not in Red Dead 1 at all. He's not even mentioned, as far as I know, in Red Dead 1. 
which really sucks because he was a really fucking phenomenal character. And he rivals these three here, if you ask me. I think he's a better main protagonist than John Marston. And yeah, so yeah, he's going to go in the GOAT. But uh, is he better than Nico? Yeah, I, I do prefer him over Nico a little bit. I prefer him over Trevor Phillips because he's a little bit more of a sympathetic, caring kind of guy, and I like people like that. And it, it's just unfortunate that, you know, he couldn't beat tuberculosis. It was 1899, so it was really hard to. And he just couldn't seem to get hit out of the life of crime as well, just like, you know, this man here, and just, you know, settle down with a nice woman. I think he would have made a great family guy, just like, you know, him. But it's just unfortunate. It's a sad reality, but uh, I really like him. He gets things done as well. He's one, again, one of the best freaking voices, most unique voices across the spectrum. And uh, his use of Shaw has definitely, definitely inspired me. And <laughs> I use that. I catch myself saying that a lot. And then I think his name is Tommy Versetti from Vice City, the main story of that game and i honestly played vice city after gta 3 and of course san andreas and gta 5 and gta 4 and i really really enjoyed that storyline um him as a character though I, I mean he's definitely better than okay so he's gonna go better above okay but I, I would put him in good he's just not as memorable as like you know john marston or uh nico bellank or of course trevor phillips or arthur morgan or of course cj He's just kind of a solid character in a really, really awesome video game. Yeah, that's all I got to say about him, really. Now, who would I say is my favorite on this list? Well, I got these four guys. I would say probably, honestly, on this list, probably just still have to go with Carl Johnson, the man that we started off with. So, if you guys have made it to this point, I really, really appreciate y'all. Of course, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you guys like videos just like this. Of course, I do reactions on the channel every Wednesday at 3 o'clock East Coast time. And as well, I do covers every once in a while on here as well. I do guitar. And I can play bass since I own a bass now. And I can sing, of course. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, of course, leave them down in the comments down below as well. And of course, I'll do more tier lists. And I will take your guys' suggestions as much into account as I possibly can. And... Really, until the next video, guys, on Reaction Wednesday, JMs is out.